Today, the Guilford County Health Department set up shop inside Ragsdale High School in Jamestown. Yeah, its workers spent time testing students there for tuberculosis, something health experts say is extremely rare. Fox 8's Madison Forsey talked with one mother whose daughter was exposed. So, Madison, how are they feeling tonight? Well, her daughter luckily doesn't have any symptoms. That's something that mom is thankful for. Guilford County health leaders tell me there's still just that one confirmed case. They also didn't share with us today, even though we asked how many people they tested, students and teachers, and that's what's kind of making parents feel uneasy tonight. There is a worry um, because, you know, you don't want to send everyone into a panic. But as a parent, there is a worry that there may be more infected than what is being told. This letter is what worried Ashley Mitchell Monday. Notification from the Guilford County Department of Health and Human Services saying your child has been identified as someone who was possibly exposed. Um, how? That's super scary because it's been years since you've heard of anybody having tuberculosis. So it's really just a panic going on. Ashley doesn't know which class it might have happened in or who could be responsible. Her daughter and a handful of others showed up to Ragsdale High School Tuesday with masks. She did say quite a few people actually didn't come to school. The mom says her daughter had minimal disruptions to her day, no change of classrooms or extra cleaning. We want everybody to understand that um, there's no there's no one that's at immediate risk of health care problems related to exposure to this particular case. The health department is monitoring the person who tested positive. It's pretty rare. Um, we're always on the lookout for people that might be at risk for having TB and we're constantly providing tests uh, to individuals. So uh, looking at the numbers from last year, we probably saw about 10 cases. Uh, in all of 2022. It's very rare. Now it's a waiting game for test results to see if and how the disease spread. Do you feel like your daughter is safe right now at school? I'm half and half. Um, I feel like she is and then the other part of me feels like she's not. Um, I don't think I'll really rest assured until I know for sure what the test says and what the school is going to do from here on out. Students had to bring back a permission slip in order to get tested at Ragsdale High School today. Those test results are going to take about two to three days before health leaders can analyze them. We're now in Jamestown, Madison Forsey, Fox 8 News. All right, Madison, thank you.